<laughs> bro, he just scoops. He summons this, recognizes he can't do anything, and he just scoops. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Today's video, we have something very special, and that is Dark Magician Pendulum. It puts up an unbreakable board, and I've ranked replays showing that if it wasn't for the Dark Magician cards, we lose. I would love to explain it now, but stay tuned for the whole video. You guys will witness this. All my Dark Magician fans, stay tuned. How many Dark Magician fans are there? Do you prefer Dark Magician or Blue Eyes? Make sure to go check out TripGaming.com for the awesome TCG playmats, deck boxes. Also, if you guys want to see more Masters, let me know in the comments. I was going to straight into the video. This is the deck list. Now, it's very simple. The idea of the deck. We play one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician girl. There's a reason why. Now, before the loser starts saying... Trip, this is not a Dark Magician deck, bro. You're not playing three Dark Magicians. Buddy, neither did Yugi. Yugi played one Dark Magician, so why won't I follow the literal Dark Magician god, Yugi? I'm just copying his deck list slightly and mixing it up to make it synergize with Endymion. You want to know who else we have in chat? The only other person in the not just the GTA, but North America, that is qualified to speak on Dark Magician, and that is Denzel. That's a Dark Magician goat. So not Denzel watching in chat as well. So the idea of the deck is quite simple. We tutor out Dark Magician every single hand. We tutor out Magician's Rod every single hand. We use Magician's Rod, whether it be Magician's Rod, Illusion of Chaos, or Preparation of Rights. We use that to search a bond between teacher and student. And then every hand gets Dark Magician on the field. Every hand. This is why Endymion is the best deck to play Pendulums in. I mean, Endymion... And D, I love pendulums all in my mind. And Demian is the best deck to play Dark Magician in. As you guys are gonna see in this replay where Dark Magician saved my ass, souls will always send Dark Magician. So any single time you can get the soul, you send Dark Magician, and then use Selene to special Dark Magician from the grave. And then when you get access to the Dark Magician, the Rod, Illusion, Prep, or the Bond Between Teacher will target the Dark Magician, especially in a Dark Magician girl, setting, have you guys read this card? Dark Burning Magic. This card says, if you control Dark Magician, Dark Magician, go destroy all cards your opponent controls. And not only do you get this Dark Magician, but you still play with it. Now, if you don't open Souls or Servant, Abductor, or Mastery, which is half the deck, basically, which Servant will not special Jackal in this deck if you don't have Dark Magician. Servant will special Abductor. Abductor will search Souls. Abductor searches Souls. Most people special Jackal with Servant. In this deck, if you don't have access to Souls, but you have access to Rod, you use Servant to get Abductor, get Souls to get Dark Magician, and then Selene special it out. If you still don't have access to that, we also play Ebon Illusion Magician. So you guys know how easy it is for, for two level sevens in Pendulum. It's incredibly easy. So instead of going into Absolute, you'll still go into Absolute later, but you go into Ebon Illusion. Ebon Illusion will then special the Dark Magician, which will then let you trigger your, your bond between teacher, the special Dark Magician girl, and then ultimately the special to get the Dark Burning Magic out. And the idea behind this is against cards like Dark Ruler or Board Breakers, a bunch of like Kaijus or Sphere Modes or Lava Golems, you always have dark burning magic and let me tell you something i played maybe 10 duels with this deck i did get lava golem but the clown didn't lava golem dark magician you lava golem my two mighty masters then i literally obliterated him no one knows what this card does you even watch Yu-Gi-Oh. i didn't know what it did until i read it and i couldn't believe it Th this card's unreal so with that being said why don't we actually hop into a ranked duel so you guys can see how this deck goes in action if you're missing any of these cards or don't know what they are check out my endemian deck profile where those are the cards you won't know i explain them in depth i want to really just focus on dark magician for this video um, i clicked a few of them if you guys want to look at the top left i don't want to go over each of them but just play this list card for card don't play astrograph no bricks you just get this to resolve and yeah we play Sk strike sky circus too reason why they synergize by the way before we continue is dark magicians they're all spellcasters rod is a spellcaster illusion and prep don't only get rod but it also gets souls and that's what this deck does it goes into crowley it goes into spellcasters it draws and all the spellcasters come back from Celine, and they're all spells Preparation of rights is a spell. Bond between teacher is two spells. Going second, going first, it's one spell. They're all spells. And you even play one soul servant because Magician's Rod actually adds itself back as a follow-up. Something Pendulum's kind of lack. But in this build, you always, you'll see I have four cards in hand, five cards to start, six cards to start my turn. Always have Rod as a come, uh, like follow-up. And soul servant in this deck draws two. So in scenarios where you kind of draw multiple, soul servant basically searches this. Soul servant could stack your souls and judging by how many draw cards we play, upstart into the void chicken game, you get to draw. Lastly, for all the Dark Magician players that don't know why we're playing 46 cards, like why are you playing upstart in a 46 card deck? The idea behind this deck is that Servant, Abductor, and Mastery is how to win. One Servant resolving equals full Dark Magician combo with Mighty Master and Jackal. So just by itself, same with Abductor, but Abductor needs a few more cards. 
So abductor and servant, we want to hold three spell counters on them, which is why we're basically playing as many spells as possible and wonder why engage is broken. All right, let's get straight into the replay. Let's go. This is the replay. This is unranked. I had to save it because this was insane. The reason why this was insane is cards that won me the game was not ironically not pendulum. And I had four negates. Like, look at my hand. I had four negates after this. This hand not, is not even that crazy. It just expected. Like, first off, I do not want to see bomb between teacher. I'd rather search it. So I don't even want to see it. Rod is broken in this hand. You guys see this now. Do you guys see how good this is? Rod is insane in this. And you guys are going to see now. I'm going to fast forward. And Dark Magician card saved me here. So not ironically, playing Dark Magician on rank in my endemian deck it wasn't even for fun like yeah it was it's extremely fun it's one of the most fun decks ever to play so you get the search and i see how powerful secrets is and knowledge in this deck look at this soul servant i'm gonna stack souls because i'm missing the dark magician in here you all see this i'm missing the souls to get dark magician so i stack souls with soul servant i know soul servant will draw me two later so i'll get its value back draw two servant is not good to open here i don't really want to see it four spells this is what like, dude engage in sky in endemian is nuts it's next level especially with electromite you could always resolve you just make electromite and then engage you draw for free search for free it's insane servant bring out jackal now we're always protected through hand traps we're gonna use electromite because i already saw you didn't have hand traps when i summoned the card nothing came up i go kagari kagari's gonna get me engage i do a heads up play here look this is how it synergizes like crazy. I'm actually going to use in, uh, Electromite to pop my own Kagari to, draw, to to get Electromite to be able to draw my engage with my engage and use my engage. I have souls as well here. A mastery. I could Mighty Master pop my servant at any time to draw one from Electromite. So keep this in mind. This is why you play this. So you always like think of how negative it is for dark, for pure Dark Magician to summon Dark Magician when every hand in Pendulum could just do it. They were made together, bro. They were made to be played together. You're telling me Dark Magician... That kind of looks like Endymion, the Mighty Master, but on steroids. Both level 7 spellcasters that are dark. Spell counters. Konami has had this ready for the last 15 years of Yu-Gi-Oh. They knew this was coming. Okay, just saying. Just saying. It, it was definitely not by accident. So next, we're going to scale the Mighty Master. We're going to put these into Selene. Now, this is where the magic is about to happen. Selene will special. Magician. Typically, it's special Jackal or whatever, Master. Special Dark Magician, and that's when we go into Bond between teacher this is where this gets crazy now we got dark magician girl and dark burning magic as it reads if you control monsters original names are dark magician dark magician girl destroy all cards your opponent controls don't forget that set we're not done penned so we pen jackal and master we take that same dark magician and master to make cross sheep an absolute so we go vortex cross sheep a fusion is summoned underneath the cross sheep so once you summon dark magician your duel is not over you're gonna summon dark magician three times this turn in total if you wanted no problem special souls soul servant draw two if dark magician girl and dark magician we didn't use souls yet either i don't want to discard for turns i have so many cards in hand so i use souls to send it into the void i didn't even send another widow i'd rather just keep it for follow-up just in case for fun this deck has insane follow-up and i'm gonna go into another selene which is not once per turn, by the way, not once per turn. I'm going to then use Selene, the special Dark Magician. And then on my opponent's turn, Selene will special a Mighty Master. So use Selene twice in this turn, and we're going to use it again in the next turn. So we have Vortex, Jackal Master. Even better, though. Look how many spell counters I have. So I actually even use my Mighty Master scale effect to, to save this master in my grave. This is just a free negate that I could get. So now I could negate with this master, bounce master back to my hand, use Selene to special the master from my graveyard, and get another master. So this is two spell, this is three spell trap negates, monster negate and jackal, and pop the entire and omni negate and with vortex and pop everything my opponent has. This is so busted. On top of that, after you resolve Dark Burning Magic, you add back Magician's Rod. So you get even more follow-up. Insane. And so you're going to have four cards to start your turn. Mighty Master will bounce itself back to hand. That's five. The other Mighty Master from Graveyard will bounce Servant back to hand. You're going to have six cards in hand before you draw. And then you draw and you have seven cards in hand. This follow-ups and you have 25 cards left in deck because you're playing slightly bigger of a deck. Now I want you guys to see what this does in action against this deck. I get Dark Ruler. <laughs> I get dark rulered. The question now is, <laughs> and one dark burning magic, this is like out of a movie. This is like this dude, M game was like, yeah, this is a movie. I'm going to have dark ruler in the exact time that pen, that pen God wants to show off the power of dark magicians. I'm going to stop all of the pendulum effects. So the four or five negates he has on board is irrelevant. I just want to show off to his, his viewers how good dark magician is and dark burning magic is this is like out of a movie bro i couldn't have asked for a better setup so the question now is can dark burning magic win this is synchron this is synchron bro this means this guy could put up negates at any time this is chaos ruler 
play this engine in OCG because of Chaos Ruler. So if they go into, if he goes into Chaos Ruler, I have to st stop and think right now. If I don't stop this, he goes Chaos Ruler. But what's a Chaos Ruler to a Dark Magician girl and a Dark Magician? I think Yugi would sit there and think, oh, I lose. Buddy, when you have the heart of the cards, everything is possible. I let him make Chaos Ruler because I know the heart of the cards are on my side, not his side. When you have the heart of the cards, anything's possible. He has Doppel Warrior, no problem. He goes Junk Converter. Look at this now. He gets Junk Synchron. If I, if I pop the, if I pop the two monsters. I lost because he could have gone junk converter, junk synchron, Let's make go. make the synchro five, uh, summon five monsters. I lose the game. Uh, I won a uh, 3v3 regional with, uh, not regional, uh, case tournament with this deck. I know synchron very well. So I know that the only way to beat them right now, the only way I lose is if that synchro five resolves. So I'm very careful. You're thinking for the sub Jack. Only way I lose here is if that card, and if, it, if the synchro five resolves. So let's say he summoned the uh, jet speeder over here. The one that summons four monsters. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll pop after it resolves because he's not protected right now from Stardust. But I'm good. It's kind of like Nibiru and I'm happy with that. But I'm waiting. I want him to waste his hand. He summons this out via the effect that special attuner from grave. And then when that comes from the grave, special doppel warrior. He doesn't understand of dark burning magic. <laughs> the power of dark burning magic. Destroy your whole board. Dark magician won this game. If that was not dark burning magic and I had six negates of pendulum, I hard lost. So in any form, bro, he just scoops. He summons this, recognizes he can't do anything, and he just scoops. In any format that Dark Ruler is just randomly a three in every deck, I'm not playing Zephyr Divine Strike. I'm not playing Seeker Village. I'm playing Dark Magician. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had an absolute blast doing it. We had about 10 duels. We The first version of the deck was bad. It was 60 cards and every Dark Magician card ever made. When we condensed the fat, surprisingly just started winning a lot of games. And we have a lot of wins with the deck. Uh, if you guys want to see more of it, let me know. I, I, I had a blast playing it. And there's a reason why I didn't delete this deck. It's because it, there's something there. And it just magically works.